Disclaimer. These videos are meant to be a brief overview of the subject. They are written to meet time constraints while still conveying factual historical information. My sources for each video are in the video summary below and can get you started on a more in-depth look at the subject. On a personal note, if there is a way to mispronounce the name, I will do it. It is a gift and I am sorry about it ahead of time. Welcome to Things You Should Know, The Great War. Today we're going to talk about the Battle of Qingdao, fought between Germany, Japan, and the United Kingdom. Located near the Qingdao Concession on September 2nd through November 7th, 1914. Qingdao was a protectorate under Imperial Germany. They had taken possession of it from China in 1897 in repayment for the death of two German missionaries. China had determined to give Germany the port and bay for 99 years. Germany used this location to influence and bring under the power of the rest of this Chinese province. This was also the base of the German East Asiatic Squadron of the German Navy, which supported German influence in the Pacific. As the war started, Britain had requested help from Japan. Yes, folks, the Japanese were on the Allies' side during World War I. Japan issued Germany an ultimatum to remove their forces from Qingdao and to hand it over to Japan, which Germany refused to do. On August 16, 1914, Major General Mitsuyama Kamio, General Officer Commanding of the 18th Infantry Division, was ordered to take Qingdao from the Germans. The process started on August 27th when the Imperial Japanese Navy began blockading the port, utilizing their pre-dreadnought Suo and reinforced British naval influence to HMS Triumph and the destroyer HMS Usk. The Japanese 18th Infantry Division, comprising of 25,000 soldiers, including 1,500 British troops, 150 artillery pieces, a seaplane carrier, five battleships, two battle cruisers, and two destroyers with an unknown number of aircraft. The German defenders consisted of 4,000 men, including 324 Austro-Hungarians that were the crew of the Kasserine Elizabeth, a German cruiser, and 100 Chinese police. They also had one protected cruiser, one torpedo boat, four gunboats, and a single aircraft. Alfred Meyer Waldeck was the commander of the German forces and immediately moved his men back from the two outer defensive lines. He focused his defense on the innermost defensive positions to prevent his troops from being too spread out as they faced the naval onslaught in the bay and the Japanese infantry threat attacking him from land. On September 2nd, the battle began with the sinking of the Japanese destroyer Shirote by the German gunboat Jaguar. Meanwhile, the majority of the German fleet, the ones not listed as part of the defenses, left port and made their way to safety at other Pacific bases. The blockade continued while the German command had the Kasserine Elizabeth's main guns removed from the ship and mounted on shore, creating what they called Battery Elizabeth. The crew of the Elizabeth then took infantry weapons and became part of the infantry defending Qingtao. The Germans then scuttled most of the rest of their ships present and prepared for battle. It should be noted that on October 17th, the torpedo boat S-90 was able to make its way out to the harbor the torpedo that sunk the Japanese cruiser Takachiho, which lost 270 men and officers, and attempted to escape but ran low in fuel and was scuttled. On October 31st, the shelling began on the German defenders. The Japanese also approached the city via land and slowly moved their trenches forward, using very large 11-inch howitzers from their infantry positions. The bombardment was constant. Unfortunately for the Germans, they ran out of ammunition too soon for their heavy artillery, and they knew that their defense was collapsing. During this time, the single Taube-class aircraft that Germans had flown by Lt. Gunther Pluschkow was often used for recon, and he made several attacks on the blockading squadron. It is said Pluschkow downed a Japanese Farman MF-7 aircraft with his pistol, which would be the first aerial victory in aviation history. On November 6, Pluschkow took the final communication dispatches from Qingdao and flew them outside of the siege, having them delivered to Berlin. The night of November 6 was a fateful attack, Waves of Japanese infantry swamped the Germans and overwhelmed them almost immediately. By morning, General Meyer Waldeck asked for surrender terms, and by November 16th, the colony in its entirety was handed over to the Japanese. The total casualties for the fight were the Allies, 727 killed, 1,335 wounded, one destroyer sunk, one protected cruiser sunk, one battleship damaged, one aircraft destroyed. While the Germans themselves had lost 199 men killed, 504 wounded, 3,400 captured, one protected cruiser was scuttled, one torpedo boat was scuttled, four gunboats were scuttled. This was the first Pacific Asiatic battle of the war. Join us next time on Things You Should Know, The Great War.